Hey guys, Alex with Infotainment. Today, we're gonna to be working on our Ram 2500 heavy duty, and we're gonna be installing this grill. This grill has an integrated front camera that actually integrates with our 360 camera system. So during our grill install, we're gonna have a bunch of different clips that need to come out up top here. There's 14 along the front here. There's two behind the intake. And there's also four eight millimeter bolts that you need to access from under the truck. So after we remove those 14 clips, this slides out from the other side here. One, two, and we'll set that aside. So for this piece right here, this whole, this whole part slides forward. So we're gonna use our pry tool wrapped in a towel so we don't scratch anything. And put this in here, and that pops off like so. And then the whole part slides forward. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four clips, and that actually fits forward. That'll expose a 10 millimeter nut here that holds the bottom balance on. So we're gonna repeat the same process on the driver's side as we did on the passenger side. So after we take the five 10 millimeter nuts off underneath here, you don't need to take them all the way off because they do slide. Uh, so just loosen the five that are underneath here. There's two more, one and two. Go ahead and take those 10 millimeter bolts out. So after we take the two 10 millimeter bolts out, we'll just go ahead and wiggle this free and set it aside. So after we remove the lower trim piece at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and remove the tri uh, trim piece off the top. And there's actually 10, 10 millimeter bolts that hold this on, and there's four clips. And they're located, one is on the far side here, one in the middle here, one in the middle here, and one more on this side here. So after we've taken the 10 bolts off the top, we're gonna take off, there is six more 10 millimeter screws at the top, and there's three more on either side at the bottom corners of the grill. So on the bottom of the grill, there's these 10 millimeter nuts right here that we need to remove to move to the new grill. So there's five total, one here, one here, one straight in the middle, and two on the side here.
There's two more on either far side of the grill. These do not need to be very tight when you put this back on. We're gonna now go ahead and transfer the 10 millimeter nuts over to the new grill here. So at this point, we're ready to put our new grill on. So go ahead and line this up with the existing bolt holes. Try to slide this forward. It can be a little tricky to get perfectly lined up. There's a little lip down here that we need to get it past on either side. As we're tilting the grill back, make sure the wiring pigtail stays free as we're, we are putting a wire around our firewall that direction. Go ahead and push forward. There's two small little clips that the, that the bracket needs to fit over, and you'll hear it audibly click, and that's on either side. So with our wiring free, we can now tuck it behind here, and we're gonna go ahead and refasten the grill. So after we've got the grill fastened back down, we're gonna take our wiring pigtail right here and we're gonna run it along the uh, hood latch cable and that'll fo follow back towards the firewall. So we're gonna take our uh, small, we're gonna take the small end of the camera wire right here and we're gonna plug it in until it snaps, just like that. We're gonna tuck it back here and this is what we're following along right here. So for the first zip tie, we wanna make sure we zip tie the harness to itself on the, the plug so it stays out of the way of the hood latch. So we wanna keep it clear of the hood latch right here. And then we'll take our other end and actually feed it underneath the brackets right here. So after we've set our first couple zip ties along the hood latch cable, we're actually gonna run under this body brace here. We're gonna go around the fuse box in the battery and down into the firewall this direction. There's a couple of different zip tie points you can get, you can get anchored to. I'd recommend keeping it as close to the side of the wall as possible. So after we've sent the wire down towards our firewall, we're gonna go under the wheel well here and go ahead and route it through the firewall. So the first step of taking the wires through the firewall is we need to remove this little kick panel right here. So we actually just go ahead and pull straight up. So once we've made it past the fuse box here, we're gonna route this wire around the battery box and down into the fuse box. Around the battery box, and we're gonna route this down through the firewall into a grommet.
So after we've routed our wire through the firewall, we're ready to uh, put our trim back on. So the first piece that goes on is gonna be this guy here. And it slides in like so, and we're gonna fasten all the 10 millimeter bolts that hold this on. The next step is to put the lower valance back on. Uh, keep in mind that all those 10 millimeter nuts were transferred over to the new grill and we'll have to go from the bottom to tighten them up. So we just got done installing our front grill. Uh, we, we decided to swap the whole grill out, but it does look like you can actually remove just the emblem part to get a camera in there. Uh, install was not too bad. It's pretty straightforward. There's a couple bolts up top, a couple clips, and the, grill, the whole grill comes out straightforward. Check us out on infotainment.com where you can find all sorts of different upgrades for this Ram 2500 and all sorts of different vehicles. Thank you so much for watching.